Hi, I'm Julie Fayfan Balzer, and today I'm going to show you how to make your very own embossed metal ornament using the Scan and Cut. I'm here in Canvas Workspace, and I'm going to just select a new item. And then I'm going to push this arrow to bring out all of my different files here. Now I have the embossing starter kit. So I have these line embossing files, which I'm going to go ahead and look at. And I want to pick a file that is an overall pattern to do. And I think the one I like the most is this one. So I can see it right there on my screen. And I want to hit the download button. And I'm going to choose to wirelessly transfer it over to my scan and cut. So now that it is ready, I can turn my attention to my scan and cut. And from the home screen, I'm going to press retrieve data, wireless. And there's my file. I have a sheet of the silver colored aluminum on my embossing mats, but I want to scan it in to place it. So I'm going to press the scan button and press start. If your scan is too light to see, you can use the wrench tool and you can ask it to be a little bit darker. And now I can see that much more clearly. So I can drag my pattern so that it fits right here onto my piece of metal. And I'm gonna say, okay, please select. I want to emboss. And all I need to do is press the start button. Look at how cool that embossing looks. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I have a pen which will write on plastic because there's a sheet of plastic on top of this metal because what I wanna do is I wanna draw out the shape that I'm gonna cut. So I'm using the universal pen holder and what I'm gonna do is simply place my pen down, oops, make sure that the pen holder's open then place my pen down into the pen holder so that the bottom of the tip touches the bottom of the height adjuster and then opposite of a pill bottle up and over to close it, pull it out, put the height adjuster down. I'm going to remove the embossing tool from the blade carriage and replace it with the universal pen holder with the brother logo facing me, close that down and now I should be ready. I'm going to say okay and then I want to go home that's okay. And from the built-in patterns, I'm looking for some kind of animal shape, I think. So I'm gonna go into the animals. Mm. Oh, I like the rooster a lot. Let's go with a rooster, that's a fun shape. So this size I think will be fine, so we'll start there. Now I have a couple different options. I can just bring in this part of the rooster, but then it doesn't look much like a rooster, right? It's missing its coxcomb, um, and I don't know what that part is that uh, hangs down. So what I actually wanna do is this one will bring in all the parts for me. So I'm gonna say, okay, that is what I want. Um, and I'm going to say set. And now I can see it is here. And of course there's the metal that we scanned in. So we have since embossed on here and it's not showing the embossing because this is the earlier scan that we did. So I'm actually going to scan it again. See, I can see the embossing very clearly on the screen. So I can grab my rooster and bring him down. And it looks like there's room for a friend. So I can decide I could do another rooster if I wanted, or I can add 
then let's go back to pattern and we can find a new shape. So we were looking at the animals, but there are a lot of other options. So for instance, we could play with something holiday. This is a Christmas ornament after all. And we could do something like, I like this shape here is really cool. The bell is really, let's do the bell. That seems like a nice shape to do. And again, we're gonna have the option here of do we want just the bell or do we want the bell with the bow? I actually think we could do just the bell in this case, but it doesn't have the little clacker. So we can do it with, without, we can add them separately. You know what, I think, let's go with this one with the bow then. Okay, so I'm gonna say set, and now there's that. Now remember how we made it lighter or darker before. Now I need to make that background a little bit lighter because I can't quite see what's going on. So now that's better. And I can make sure that everything is going to be on the things that are embossed. Okay. So now we are going to draw and I'm ready to press start. Now that it's done, I'm going to eject it. And you can see I have my drawings on top of here. The Scan and Cut can't cut metal, so that's why we've drawn on top of here because we're gonna take scissors and cut this out. So now I am ready to cut. And like I said, I'm going to eliminate the bow, so I'm just gonna cut the bell portion of things. Okay, now that I've cut out the shapes, I can remove the plastic. And then all that is left is I wanna punch a hole for a ribbon to go through. So here are my fabulous ornaments ready to hang on the tree. You can, they look great from the embossed, the debossed, whatever side you turn them onto, but they're super fun and really personal. And I hope that you will give this easy and fun project a try. Thanks so much for watching. For more tips, tricks, and tutorials, be sure to visit my blog at ballsordesigns.typepad.com, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course, don't forget about the Scan and Cut website at scanandcut.com.